Hi there, it's Sean Tuttle at The Natural Professional. Today's subject is something that is very near and dear to my heart as it's something that uh, occasionally drives me nuts. <laughs> I guess that's one way to call it close to my heart. Uh, okay, so the topic today is balance. Or more specifically, why life balance is bogus. We're done with it, this whole concept of life balance. Balance implies that there's a point that can be reached, sort of a, a state of equilibrium, um, at which point everything will just flow really well. It's something that can be achieved. People talk about it as if once they have it dialed in, everything's gonna be smooth sailing from there on out. It sounds like it's something that can be worked on. And if I can work on it, it sounds kind of like it's something outside of myself. It's uh, something in my schedule, it's something to tweak. Um, I just need to add a yoga class or spend more time with my sweetie. Of course, I'm not saying, you know, don't take a yoga class or take time with friends. Uh, I wanted to bring in a reality check to this you know, concept that I need to get more life balance, which usually means bringing more into our life in the form of classes or uh, more appointments, you know, with friends, but it's fun stuff, so it's okay. So here's the thing though, what are you really saying when you say, you know, I need, I need to, you know, get more balance in my life? What you're actually saying is that you're not having as much fun as you'd like. This isn't that much of a surprise since we're in this culture of work, 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 do, 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 push through, push through. When your work expectations are too high, it's impossible for fun not to get squished out. There's just no room for it. I recently had a conversation with my co-coaching uh, partner and she's a real estate agent. She's good at what she does because she loves real estate and she loves helping people. But what she said the other day was that she used to love doing research for clients. You know, they'd have some, come up with a, you know, their three bedroom, two bath, dream house, um, ideal, and she'd do all this research and she loved doing it. But what she's found that when she has a really full plate and her days just get packed, that the research just becomes another chore that needs to get done so she can move on to the next thing. All the fun has been zapped out of it. So if you're one of those people who says, I need to get more balance in my life, the next time you catch yourself saying that, instead think or ask yourself, how can I allow for more fun in my life? How can I allow for more space for fun in my life? What can I lighten up? Is what I want to get done today realistic? How can you back off a little bit so that what you do do is more fun? What can you do to bring more joy and ease into your life on a day-to-day -day basis? That's it for today. Uh, so, signing off with a reminder that the era of struggle is over.